I come from a village of Night Eaters. We're a long-lived people, much longer lived than ordinary humans by far. However, our reproductive abilities are spotty. We're rarely blessed with children, and our numbers are dwindling. Neighboring villages have forgotten we even exist. Most of us have simply accepted that as our fate and gone on with our lives. <laughs> but not Soga. He tried to rally the people of the village into actively pursuing some means of keeping the Night Eater legacy alive. Unfortunately for him, no one was interested. I think they'd all given up by that point. The last Night Eater to be born was Ren, and that was over 150 years ago. Well, <laughs> the jury's still out on the exact time frame there. Then, about two years ago, Soga disappeared. Rather suddenly at that, it's as if he decided his ruined kin were no longer worth his time, so he turned his back on us and left. Hold up. Are you seriously telling me Rin is over 150 years old? What does that make you, then? <laughs> My official age is 15, thank you very much. I was born about 20 years before Rin, I believe. Though, when you live as long as we do, you stop keeping track after a while. Yeah, my mind's kind of blown right now. I thought you were both young girl characters, but I guess you're actually older woman characters. Don't define people by their appearances. Mm, back on topic, do you know what this Soga person's doing in Akiba? Or why he's gotten involved with the Synthesters? We've been Synthister hunters since the very beginning. But we've had no Synthisters to hunt for at least the past hundred years. Because of that, most of us essentially stopped thinking about them and forgot what they were capable of. So, when the cursed things came crawling out here, I started wondering, could our missing brother have something to do with it? That's when I wrote that nasty letter to keep Shizuku away, then skipped town to find out. Causing me minor trauma in the process. <sighs> Regrettably, it seems Rin's intuition was right on the mark. Soga is the one pulling the strings here, without question. So if we do something about him, that'll take care of the Synthesters too? That seems likely, yes. Big Brother's not the only one who's gotten himself caught up in this mess, though. Daishi Hun Pharmaceuticals definitely has their nose in this, too. Not sure how deep they go, but still. Hmm. There are other questions as well. Such as, why is this only occurring in Akiba? And why have no other locations been targeted? That is a very good question. Maybe it is happening in other places. It could be. Well, if it is, nobody's talking about it on Pitter. I've only been seeing clips about monsters in Akiba. Well, how about that? A real secret society trying to pull some evil plan on Japan. Not Japan, just Akiba. The question remains, why has Soga come here? And why is this town the only place he's targeted? If we can answer these questions, we might be able to get to the heart of the matter. Well, either way, we've still got a long road ahead of us. Maybe now we know who the bad guy is, but that don't exactly solve the problem, know what I mean? Remember, the streets of Akiba are still crawling with those damn Synthesters. Yeah, I agree. We can't rush things. We're freedom fighters. We've got a job to do, and we've got to do it right. Right? Oh, hey, sis. Is it true you're renting a room upstairs here? I am. Pops was kind enough to let me stay. Occasionally, he lets me help around the shop as well. Well, would you consider moving into my apartment with me instead? I'm sure your quality of life would be much better there. Hey, you got a problem with my bar? If you and I live together, too, we could bathe together like we used to and keep each other warm at night by sleeping on the same food time. And if you really wanted, we could go even farther than that, but... <laughs> now I'm blushing. Um... 
You know, this is the first time I've ever seen something like this in real life. Yeah, you can really feel the pangs of forbidden love emanating from these two. I have to say, I kind of like this intimate Rin just about as much as cool idol Rin. Yes, yes, it is very, very cute. It's more than cute. When a character goes into girl's love mode, she receives homoerotic bonus points, contributing to her appeal. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. Oh, uh, hey, it's time for our next patrol. Is it now? I trust you won't mind if I join you guys today. Come on, sis. You're with me. Considering where the conversation left off, I'm not sure I like that plan. Aw, sis. Don't be mean. If I can't go with you, then maybe I just won't go at all. Hold on. That's not how this works. Hmm. Fine. Get off my back, I'll go. Well, what are you waiting for, minion? Stop staring off into space and walk me to Main Street. I'm not sure that combination is any better. <laughs> <laughs>